internet. But no, I think we should Let's set do up. Something like that. All right, Let's set up. Oh, it's not good enough. Sorry, hold on. All right, I'm tall. Very tall. Fucking tall people. Welcome to the beer. One that that one. That's Hi. Right. But we should we should have a Scott Norwood of each show, and we should have a. No, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna. You're you're my point of reference. So we'll do. We'll put it over there with the. Nope, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got, got it. Got all of us. Got it. Got it. Yep. Right. Uh, I'm getting the middle here, asshats. What? Me being of the middle and height. Okay, I'm being over here, so you just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So, so from all of us at the beer, beer remember, we're, we're killed. Drink beer. Fourteen. We told you fourteen. But the last one that we had, that imperial stout, it was left over from dinner. I figured, why not? I enjoyed it, so, so I figured you might as well. Right. So, so what we, we have we is an in. American beer. Here. It's from Buffalo Bills Brewery. It is a blueberry oatmeal stout. Oatmeal oh, something. It's what's for breakfast. Buffalo Bills Brewery. Or? Buffalo Bills Brewery. Would you? Let's no. Let's let's Would hope you? it doesn't fail as hard as our hometown team. Would you drink me? I drink me. I drink me hard. I drink me so let, hard. Can we get what's for, for breakfast again? It was blurry, so let us hope. Buffalo bit blueberry oatmeal stout. It's what's for breakfast. Let us hope that this goes over better than our hometown team. See now, oh, us being are. located in the lovely city of Rochester, New York, the local football team, well, as local as it gets, is are the Buffalo Bills. Now, if any of you are uh, football fans, you know that being a Bills fan is pretty much tantamount be to being, being a, a masochist. masochist. So, so now the Bills have this trend of being pretty decent at the start and then finishing. So Horrifyingly, but but bad. you have to admit, at least they when they, they don't just fail, they fail spectacularly. True. So, so, for example, we so give you Scott Norwood. Scott Norwood, fucking a Scott, phenomenal Norwood. kicker of his time, but his career will forever be tarnished by that one. Either way, missed so kick. what we're gonna we're, we're gonna hope that this is nothing like that. Yeah, we're so gonna hope it's good all the way. We're through. going to hope that this is because not the Scott Norwood of our show. See, now, it is a blueberry oatmeal stout. Now, see, just looking at the label, I can see nothing wrong with this. I like all of those things. I like oatmeal, I like stouts, I like oatmeal stouts, and I like blueberries. Um, Ellicottville Brewing Company makes a blueberry wheat beer that I am rather fond of. It's really good on a hot summer day. Um, it's tasty, tasty, tasty. So we're going to try this one. And I pray, like pray it is not hell. the Scott Norwood of our show. Either way. Wow, man, you're just. Uh, it's not the darkest one we've had. It's pouring pretty this one, dark. This one seems to be along the same lines. I, I want right. to say it's along the lines of that first. I don't know what's that first. So apparently, <laughs> Mr. King has been. Um, he has been inspired to sing uh, Sticks. <laughs> Why? But he has. Nor I. Uh, Either way. I did not very Thank much. Thank you. I, I got very little of that. Yeah, well, here you go. This seems to be along the same coloration as the uh, third Baltica. The oh, dark I can smell uh, blueberries. blueberries. It's darker, though. It's still darker. It's a, it's a dark blueberry. I can smell blueberries and. Ooh. Dark beer. I, uh, All right.
already. And I we, like it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful because we're I drinking a dark muffin. We are drinking a blueberry muffin. Let us hope that is the case. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, spicy. Ooh. Do you taste spice? I taste spice. A tad bit. What I taste mainly, it tastes like an imperial stout with blueberry added. Yes, it um, does. It doesn't have the taste of a of your usual oatmeal stout like the Tadcaster I drank earlier this evening during dinner, or like a Guinness, which is actually technically a milk stout. Um, it has the taste more similar to an imperial stout. Uh, however, with blueberry, with blueberry, the, the blueberry is definitely very prevalent. It, it's very present, however, not enough to completely overwhelm the beer, which is a mistake a lot of fruitier beers make. Um, they try too hard to make the fruit mm -hmm. overcome the taste of the beer. Um, I'm for, tasting pepper. If, well, the Blue Point Brewing Company makes a blueberry beer that I've had. Uh, I really like blueberry, so when I find a blueberry beer, I try it. Blue Points, um, blueberry ale is definitely really heavy on the blueberry, not so much on the flavor of this. Mm. That's yummy. That's that is, that good. is quite good. So this is in fact not the Scott Norwood of the show. I think uh, the Scott Norwood of our show may in fact be the lobster lover. Or okay. no, the, the gluten free beer. Mm, mm. Too bad. This is a great bottle. The bottle is <laughs> The bottle is very nice. The bottle right. is nice, the beer is not. So, either way, um, this is Buffalo Bill Brewing Company. I can taste almost like a pepper, like a black pepper taste towards the back of the mouth. I taste a blueberry up front, Why? you know? But there is something else towards the back. I think that comes from the fact that it is, in fact, a stout. Mm -hmm. So, which is a little more complex. Cheers. I, I've noticed the tendency for for stouts to be a little bit more complex. Definitely heavy. It's like I'm drinking a body. meal. I'm drinking a meal here. You're so drinking you, dessert. You, you have it's you, more dessert because it's got pepper, but it's, it could be like you. You made the comment steak. earlier that it was like um, it's kind of like drinking a blueberry muffin. That's With actually pepper. a little bit of true. <laughs> so, if you take a blueberry muffin. Add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of chocolate. That's pretty much what you get here now. At first, that kind of sounds kind of gross, but it's actually good. Surprisingly enough, that's actually a really good combination. The point is, is it's not all of those flavors right at once. No, no, you're, you're tasting. You're separately. getting, you're getting the stout and you're getting the blueberry at first, and then the aftertaste slowly fades Slightly into that pepper. pepper. It's good. Oh uh, no! I don't know that I. No. <laughs> no. Oh no, Chris, the cat is sneaky good. bugger. Either way, wear kilts. Drink, drink beer. All right. So, from us at the beering, um, we have gone through about fifteen beers this evening. Likely, this has been broken up into a couple of episodes, uh, or at least a couple of parts. Or one very long episode. Mm, I can only do 20 minutes at a time. We got into two yeah. tapes. So Either way. Mm -hmm. So, from us at the beering, we've gone through 15 beers this evening. Um, we hope. Yeah. Well, if you're if you're drinking, drink in a manner that won't get you oh, any deal. Oh, oh, oh. Sexy. Charming. That's bloody charming. That if is. you're drinking, don't Ladies, drink in a manner that will get you a DUI because they're really inconvenient. Especially drink in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're gonna drink, drink at home with friends like us. Make videos like the beering. If you've got beers you think we should try out, send let us, us know. Let us know. We're always let's open to trying new beers. And with beers in the world right nearby. Just we have access to a lot of different beers given the area we live in. Um, given the... So watch us or our sister program. Yep. Bart's, Bart's Beer, Beer Review. Which I have been fortunate enough to be a guest of. Very well done, sir. Party foul. <laughs> Ex uh, no, no party foul. There was no beer spilled. Either way. Uh, is there a um, beer spilled? Yeah, there's one. Ah! Uh, don't use that, you nitty. Either way. Nothing happened. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is... <laughs>
Everything is perfectly fine. Do not mind the elephant in the room. Either way, um, if you like us, subscribe. It's fun. Um, this has been the beer ring. We've gone through about 15 beers. It's good times. We've had some good times. We've had some shenanigans. We found some beers that were really kind of crap. But we also found some beers that were also really good. We hope you enjoy them as much as we did. Um, if you like it, great. Subscribe. Watch our sister program, Bart's Beer Review, which is also really good times. And stay sexy. But remember, always, wear kills. Drink beer! Alright, this is what you see. Do you like it? You get, the, you, get, you get the lever on the side there. Which one? On the, on the side. A little better. Hit it until it goes down all the way. It's You're fine. Okay. Alright, so... so. All right. Uh, thanks for watching the beering. We hope you enjoyed it at least as half as much as we did. Because we enjoyed it. We we got to drink during, and you know, hopefully you did too. And hopefully you so. learned something. So uh, this is the part of the program where we discuss these what we consider to be the Scott, Scott Norwood, Norwood of the program. Now, if you don't know who Scott Norwood is, we're not going to tell you. So why don't you go and look it up? You know, you can go and. It's a football something. reference. Yeah. So, That's but, as much hint as we're giving you. Yes. So, now, that would be the worst of the beers that we tried. Now, my personal one goes to this. The, the gluten-free, the sorghum St. Peter's. Now, it's a bit of a letdown in the fact that... Awesome the, bottle. The, it's an awesome bottle. I like this bottle a lot. It's a, it's a really cool shape. It's a it. cool shape. It's a unique one. In the and hey, it's gluten-free, which gluten means free. that those of you who have no souls can, in fact, and still enjoy beer. And what he means is but people who normally can't drink beer, you know, give it a shot. If you like it, great. If not, that's, drink it's something cider. you can drink. If not, if not cider. cider. Because cider, hands down, way better than this is. Delicious. Delicious. Um, so now my personal vote for the Scott Norwood of the program goes to the Chimay, which is a Trappist Ale. Now this is apparently an official Trappist Ale that was brewed in a Trappist monastery. So it's got the official seal and everything, it's got all natural ingredients, has not been filtered, has not been pasteurized. It's got an extremely satisfying pop sound as when you, you open with the cork. As you could no doubt tell when I opened it earlier, it was such a great sound. Yeah, personally, I'm a big fan of that, I love it, it's got, it, it's it gave so me, satisfying. It gave me very so high hopes, very much, high much hopes. Much like Scott, Wood, Scott Norwood, I had such high hopes for it, and then we poured it, and it looked cool. I was, I was I was looking forward to it. I've had some unfiltered beers. I've had Hefeweizens, which are wheat beers. For those of you who are uneducated in the ways of beers, which are German wheat beers, they're actually pretty good. Um, this one, not so much. Mixed also, it's seven yard. Yeah, it's nine percent alcohol by volume, and it's one pint, and nine point four fluid ounces. So. Which is really its only saving grace is that it's fairly it's, alcoholic and so, that there's a lot of so it. So if, if, you, if you drink it, you if, get drunk pretty quick. If you like Trappist you, Ales, this is probably for you. If you're like us and you like stouts, probably not. Yeah. So... That, that's our decision. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it we'll up, leave to, it up you to you. If, whether the Scott you, Norwood is either you, the Trappist Ale or, or the, the gluten-free gluten -free. mess. We will let you decide if you think... St. Peter's it's also good. had a cool uh, bottle cap. The one with the raisin. Yes, it, 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 yes, it did. It, it, I put it, it, that in my pocket already. Yes, the St. Um, Peter's did have that cool bottle. Oh, bottle. There you go. Uh, once again, for those of you who care, it was this. It's the first time I think I've ever seen a rampant raven, which, you know, for those of you who don't know, in medieval coat of arms, rampant was when they had the animal, you know, lifting its legs and weird... Rawr! The, rawr, Basically, it's the animal doing the thriller dance. Yes. The, the animal trying to be Michael Jackson. This is 
easily the first time I've ever seen a Raven trying to be Michael Jackson. Shocking. Either way, um, this has been The Beering. We hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we hope to see you again. If you've got ideas, beers that we should try. Um, we're pro yeah. Uh, our sister program has branched out and actually tried a sake. However, we, being the beering, are going to prefer to stick to beers. Uh, if you want us to try other, brute, other alcoholic substances or liquors, let us know. We're I Irish. We'll try anything. I'm a bit of an alky. I'll try just about anything. I like my booze. I'm a big fan of vodkas. However, on the show, we will stick to beer. Um, I'm Chris. And I'm Shane. This has been The Beering. And I'm Nate. This, is, this has been The Beering. <laughs> Slainta. Just remember, Slainta and Beering. Where kills drink beer?